Hello, and welcome to Paul Weller Presents The Black Barn Sessions. Miles Kane is here, and there's going to be some brand new music from Liverpool trio The Mysterines. But first, seeing as we're here, and it's his place, Paul Weller. Thank you for having us all over at the barn. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. It sometimes feels like you get waves where there's you can't move for great new bands coming through. Does right now feel like one of them times for you? I, I thought so for the last sort of couple of years, really. I thought there's so many amazing um, music coming out in all different spheres as well, you know. And uh, I think so, yeah, an exciting time, you know. And it's just getting to hear it, really, isn't it? As a songwriter and a musician, does that sort of help you? keep you inspired, I guess, like discovering stuff and hearing new things? Yeah, totally, yeah. Just realise that it's still all going on, you know, it's an ongoing thing and, uh, you know, regardless of whether people sell more records than they used to and all that other stuff, uh, the music's still going on. That's the most important thing and the intention behind it. Paul, thank you very much. <laughs> Anyone that thinks rock and roll music is on its uppers clearly hasn't had the pleasure of hearing Liverpool's The Mysterines. Here they are with the excellent gasoline.
first broke cover as guitarist in the Little Flames. Since then, he's been a rascal, a shadow puppet, and a hugely successful solo artist. Here he is doing what he does best, Mr. Miles Kane. Get high with you, losing 